So, um, I just watched the first episode of Ash vs. Evil Dead with my brother and my cousin. And um, basically what it is supposed to be is it's supposed to be a sequel to the original three Evil Dead movies. It's supposed to take place like 30 years later. So now Ash, the main character, he's like 30 years older than he was before. And all of a sudden, the Evil Dead has been released into the world again. And so he has to stop it, basically. And I think that it it is actually a perfect encapsulation of everything that is good about the the first the, the first three Evil Dead movies, and I really really like it, and I would highly recommend anybody who is a fan of Evil Dead watch this series. It is perfect. It is wonderful and brilliant. And for those of you who don't know what Evil Dead is, let me give you a kind of brief explanation. It is a series of horror films that came out back in the uh, 80s. That uh, the premise is. There are these teenagers, and they go on a vacation. They they rent a cabin in the woods. They hang they're hanging out in that cabin in the woods all alone, and then they they find this book in the cabin, a book called the Necronomicon. And one of them reads a passage from this book, and that passage happens to be the passage that unleashes an evil spirit into the world. And this evil spirit has the ability to possess people. And once it possesses a person, like it it has to like get into their so, like, they have to be, like, weak before it can possess them. But it, once it possesses them, they're gone, and they're dead, and there's nothing they can, like, you You might as well kill them because they're going to kill you. And uh, when it possesses a person, like, the person gets, like, white eyes. It looks like a zombie, basically. And basically what happens in the movie is the main character, Ash, slowly watches all of his friends get possessed by this book, and then he eventually gets to the point where he has to kill them all. And then he has to find a way to seal the spell and uh, seal the evil back in whatever. <laughs> Stop the evil. And so um, what, what I really find, what's really interesting about the series, though, is that it is a bizarre combination of both horror, like the ax, ax, absolutely terrifying horror that keeps you on your toes and scared, and comedy. It's that there are there are genuinely horrific elements and horrific moments, creepy moments, and there are genuinely comedic moments. And it's like combining these two completely separate elements into like a perfect blend of Evil Dead. That's what Evil Dead is. It's like horror comedy. And it's also like very campy. Like the way that it was shot, it was all all the films were shot kind of low budget. And like when when someone's head gets lopped off, you can tell you can tell that it's not a real head, and there's like so much blood and gore. It's like it's, it's you see it's a gore fest and also like a campy comedy. It's it's great. It's a perfect combination of all those things, and I think that the uh, the series, this new series, Ash vs Evil Dead, is the perfect encapsulation of that. And I know the exact reason that this is. It's because the two main people who are responsible for Evil Dead are uh, Sam Raimi, who is the director, and Bruce Campbell, who is the star, who plays the main role, Ash. And both of those people are working on this series. So, yeah, it stands to reason that it's a good series. But anyways, since Evil Dead is in the air of conversation, as I have created the air of conversation, I don't know how it couldn't be in the air of conversation, but whatever. Since Evil Dead is in the air of conversation, I thought I'd tell you all how I originally discovered Evil Dead. Because it's actually kind of a different way than most normal people who are fans of Evil Dead would discover it. Because I found that most people who are fans of Evil Dead happen to be horror fans, and they discover it through, oh, I love horror films, I want to watch all the cool horror films from all the different genres and eras, and then they go and watch all the horror films from the 80s, and then it's smack dab in the middle is Evil Dead. But I am not at all really a fan of horror. I don't actually like it at all. I actually actively avoid horror. I hate being scared. So I discovered Evil Dead through a completely different means, and that means was the anime music video. Uh, if you don't know what an anime music video is, it's basically you take your favorite anime and you take your favorite song and then you combine those two things into like a timed piece of media. So this, the, like, you take like a Linkin Park song and you take Dragon Ball Z and you combine those so that the, the, the action in Dragon Ball Z matches the Linkin Park song and then you have an AMV. And I was a really, really big fan of these these things, these AMVs. And... um. 
there's this website that I went to very frequently, and this was way before YouTube came out. This website was called animemusicvideos.org, and it was where all the AMV makers hung out, and they submitted the, their AMVs, and you could review AMVs, you could watch all kinds of AMVs, and it was a really cool site. Um, one of the features of this website was that every year it would hold this event called the Viewer's Choice Awards. Um, and basically what that was is every single user on the site would vote on which AMV was the best in various categories, like what was the best action AMV of the year, basically, of the entire year. What was the best action AMV? What was the best romance AMV? What was the best dance AMV, the fun AMV? What was the best, I don't know, comedy AMV? All of them would be listed. And so I, like 2007 rolled around. This was back in 2007. And the 2007 Viewer's Choice Awards had just come out, all the lists of the AMVs, and so I started watching them and, you know, having a great time. Eventually I came to the AMV that was in the best lip sync category. And I don't actually remember what the anime was or much about the AMV, except that I really, really, really liked the song. The song was a song about, like, a monster that was a, a movie monster, and he was, like, the monster that immediately gets killed at the beginning of the movie, or in the middle of the movie, that no one remembers. And he was just, he just sang an entire song complaining about that. And I really, really liked it. I really, really liked the song. And so, immediately after I watched the AMV, I looked up the song, and I found out it was called Bit Part Demon. And it was from a musical called Evil Dead the Musical. Now, at this time, I did not know what Evil Dead was, but the second that I saw that there was an Evil Dead the musical, I thought that was the coolest thing ever because I love the idea of taking some kind of weird thing that shouldn't fit as a musical and forcing it to be a musical. Like, that's a really cool concept to me. So I immediately wanted to watch this Evil Dead the musical, and so I found it. It was on YouTube, I think. Um, but then I, then I thought, wait... This musical is definitely based off of a series of movies. Like, it looks like there's a series of movies this musical is based off of. And I want to understand this musical, like, as a fan of these movies. So I'm going to become a fan of these movies right now. And I'm going to watch all of them. And so I watched all three Evil Dead movies in a row. And then I watched the Evil Dead musical. And so I was able to get all the references. And, that, and that's, basically, that's basically how I discovered <laughs> Evil Dead. I found an AMV, and I really liked the song, and then I found that the song was from Evil Dead the Musical, and it's like kind of a backwards way to get to Evil Dead, but that's how I discovered it. And I guess this is the end of the Coquino podcast for now, because I can't think of anything else to say. So I will see you guys next time. I hope you have a good life. I hope you have fun, and I hope you don't mind that my voice is cracking. I can't, it's very late at night. And I shouldn't be recording this. I should be going to sleep so I can go to work tomorrow. But I'm going to record this anyways because I'm going to record one of these a night. One of these a day. Got to do it. Got to keep it up. All right, I'll see you next time.